Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, February 21, 2025. Here follow the solutions to problem 224. Before I discuss what most of you think is a correct solution, I want to go over the problem again. The problem is non-consistent physics. Therefore, the whole problem is useless. But let's look at the problem again. In a certain region of space, the electric field is constant in direction horizontally in the x direction. But its magnitude decreases from 560 newtons per coulomb at x equals zero to 410 newtons per coulomb at x equals 30 meters. Determine the charge within the cubical box of sides L is 30 meters, where the box is oriented so that four of its sides are parallel to the field lines as shown in the picture below. Okay. Look at these field lines. Parallel field lines can only be achieved with infinitely large surfaces that uniformly charged. That's number one. To have parallel field lines, in this case, to the left and to the right, with different strengths is impossible, I claim. And then the question that I asked, I'm responsible for this problem, determine the charge within the box. You tell me where you put that charge in the box so that this E field becomes that E field. Other nonsense. Any charge you would put in this box would affect also the field there, apart from the fact that no matter how you put the charge in here, these field lines will not all be parallel. So, if you think you have a solution, tell me where you want those charges. You shouldn't feel bad. I should feel bad. I should never have posted this problem. And both Eugen and Keith Norman agreed with me that this problem should not have been posted. What shall we accept as a correct solution, though it is a wrong solution? But we will accept if viewers argued that they apply Gauss law and that Gauss law will then somehow, in magic way, create this absurd field. And so that's what Oregon has done, and that's what will come next. So here comes the solution written by Oig. And even though he realizes it, that the problem is nonsense and that there is no solution to that problem because the whole thing is nonsense. But we will have agreed that 
we will sort of accept the solution and call it correct, even though it isn't, if you apply Gauss law. And that is what Organ has done. So he writes, the only instrument we need to solve this problem is Gauss law. And he gives Gauss law there. We note that the lines of the electric field are uniform and constant in direction. Yes, we note that, but that alone is, is not possible. That seems we can designate our Gaussian surface to be the surface of the cube. Please check Walter Lewin's lecture 3 from 802. This means we have two fluxes. We have one flux which is inward, and he gives here the value, and we have one flux outwards. So the net flux is the sum of the two, and there you see the difference. And therefore, he applies Gauss' law, and he then finds that the charge that you have to put in the box is 1.19 microcoulomb. Uh, apart from the fact that the charge is probably negative, but that's not an important issue here, because no matter where you put the charge in that box, you will never, ever get the field configuration that you see now. Parallel field coming in, parallel field coming out. So let's just leave this problem as it is and accept my apologies that it was ever posted. We called this problem number 224, but it should have been 223, so I slipped up by one. <laughs> so maybe the slip that I made by one was also the slip that I made by publishing this problem in the first place. I therefore will call the next problem number 223. This should have been 223.